is a blue planet in the far side of the universe. It is very special for one reason. Only children live, the, live there. It's called the kids' planet. The story begins on a very small island. Two kids are walking on a sandy beach. They are very good friends. Their names are James and Elizabeth. Look, I see a very strange star. Where? That's not a star. It is a space rocket. It is going to cross on the island. Space rocket looked more like a vacuum cleaner than a spaceship. Suddenly, there appeared a strange-looking ground ground in the doorway. Hello kids, my name is Mr. Yoli. I can do anything. I am great come true maker. I can make your sweetest dream come true. Let's see what's the greatest fun you can think of. When the moon is food. When I clean the cliffs. When I watch the sunrise. When the butterfly flies. Oh, I am so sorry, kids, but this is this so boring. I am falling asleep. Let's talk about real fun and games. Do you want to fly? Of course, we want to fly like butterfly. Show me where the butterflies sleep, and I will make you fly. Mr. Rolly sprinkled the butterfly dust over the children's hands. Wow! We're, We're flying. flying! We're flying! <laughs> this is the greatest fun <laughs> ever! But some the kids started to stink. They wouldn't shower for fear of washing the butterfly dust off. Seriously <laughs> has a solution. They will never need the shower again. I will give you many stuff made from the rainbow in exchange for a tiny bit of your youth. The kids were so happy, but people long everyone became bored again. They wanted to fly at night too. They ran to Mr. Jolly to complain. How can you help us? I have a solution for just a tiny band of youth at 12 o'clock. I will nod the sun to the sky above your island. From that moment on, the it will always be there. The children on the island loved having Mr. Jolly around. He made life so exciting. Everything was an adventure. Let's have a race, a competition to see who is the roughest. Between the race, Elizabeth and James played together. They began to fall and fall and fall. They landed in a dark ah, oh. I don't think the sun will rise. We are on the dark side of the planet. In the endless night, let's work together. I don't want to return home. I'm sorry. Uh, me too. Let's hug and make up. Don't eat us, Mr. Bear. Ooh, I'm not going to eat you. No, you don't smell like children. Hey, kids. Don't go so quickly. My friends and I would love to eat you. Mr. Spider loved the smell of the butterfly dust. She threw it. A cat, James and Elizabeth in her web. Thanks to the magic staff, they were saved 
Mr. Spiders was so freaky they ran away. Elizabeth and James become known as the butterfly monsters. The scary stories about them spread, so not to be eaten, the animals will give them gifts. I, gi I give you a lamp. Thank you. I give you a of the rabbit too. Thank you. I give you potatoes. Thank you. I give you a milk. Thank you. I give you a smile. Thank you. I give you warm. Thank you. The hyena sitting in the back was silent. He heard something mysterious. 